Hello and welcome to our newest YouTube video. We're going to be taking a look at some of the biggest companies in the news today who have released their earnings and are making headlines. To start us off, let's take a look at Rivian, the electric vehicle company. They released their fourth quarter earnings and the results were mixed. The revenue for the quarter was $663 million, underperforming analysts' expectations of $742 million. Despite the lower than expected revenue, their losses for the quarter were smaller than anticipated. Sarepta Therapeutics is up next and the stock is soaring by 17%. An analyst from Morgan Stanley upgraded their rating from equal weight to overweight, stating the company's path for SRP9001, an investigational gene therapy, is now seen as de-risked. Meanwhile, audio streaming giant Spotify saw its stock price rise 1.3%. A firm called Redburn recently gave them a buy rating, asserting that their margins are expected to increase and headwinds like investments and publishing royalties will lessen. Retailer Kohl's shares dropped 8% after a surprise fourth quarter loss. The CEO, Tom Kingsbury, said the drop in sales was due to an inflationary environment. Their reported loss of $2.49 a share was far lower than the estimated $0.98 cent per share profit. Moving on to some beverage news, Monster Beverage Corporation reported earnings after yesterday's closing bell and their stock is down nearly 5%. Although their revenue of $1.51 billion fell short of expectations, their quarterly earnings of $0.57 cents per share were ahead of estimates. Novavax reported substantial doubt on their ability to operate as a going concern over the 2019-2020 year and their stock dropped 25.4%. AMC Entertainment reported a greater than forecast loss for the fourth quarter, but their revenue beat expectations. As a result, their stock fell 8%. HP Incorporated released first quarter earnings and shares climbed 2.7%. They forecasted higher earnings per share in the second quarter and maintained their full year earnings target. On the other hand, Lowe's fiscal fourth quarter sales fell short of expectations. The home improvement retailer's revenue came in at $22.45 billion instead of the expected $22.69 billion. Finally, First Solar reported a fourth quarter loss of $0.07 cents per share with revenue at $1 billion in line with expectations. But the solar stock is gaining 5.4% in pre-market trading as the firm issued full-year guidance that was ahead of expectations. That's been a quick rundown of the companies making headlines right now. There's a lot of exciting news in the earnings world and we'll keep an eye on it as the day goes on. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.